Hi everyone, this session I am going to discuss about speed control of DC series motor using rectifier then after that using chopper. So speed control of DC series motor. In the last session we discussed about speed control of separately excited DC motor. As of now what have we discussed is separately excited DC motor with a different type of converters full control, off control, single phase, three phase we discussed. So this session I am going to discuss about speed control of DC series motor using first, first case rectifier and using chopper. Now using rectifier we will take the first case using rectifier it is more or less similar like a uh, half controlled rectifier fed separately excited DC motor so the diagram and all everything remains same the only different is in series motor the field winding will be in series with the armature that is the difference field winding will be in series with the armature here field winding is not shown if you want you can show the field winding over here so the current flowing through the field winding and the current flowing through the armature remains same this is my armature modeling armature circuit R A L A and E is given the difference is here the E E is variable in the separately excited DC motor E this is the EMF EMF back EMF will be fixed E capital E will be constant but here the E will be varying with respect to that uh, speed normally speed also with the armature current IA so whenever the current changes the E also will change but in the separately excited DC motor the E remains constant because E is mainly because of the flux what is the E formula actually original uh, the basic E formula P phi n is at by 60 A in separately excited DC motor the phi flux value will be separate that is constant but here the field winding is connected in series so the flux produced by the field winding is directly proportional to that IA therefore that E, e is directly proportional to that IA and omega M so that's what in series motor the E will be variable whereas in the separately excited DC motor the E is constant so that is the difference between the controlling of series motor and separately excited DC series motor so now here we take the off controlled rectifier means two thyristors and two diode uh, kindly check my previous videos that is half controlled rectifier fed separately excited DC motor same this uh, here only the field wind is connected in series so that's it no other difference so during positive half cycle T1 D1 will be forward by us during negative half cycle T2 D2 will be forward by us then operation everything remains same only thing is E will be variable with respect to that E and omega M and derivation also remains same so during positive half cycle T1 D1 will be forward by us then input supply will be available across that armature so Vm sin omega T equal to IA RA plus LA DIA by DT plus E usually we will put plus E here what is the E? E is nothing but F into IA function of IA and omega M so that is the difference so in the separately excited DC motor here we will put a capital E that is constant but here it is not a constant F into IA omega M so that is the difference now during freewheeling time so that diode D1 D2 will be short circuited if the D1 D2 is short circuited that is called that freewheeling time so that is happening because of the LA that also we discussed in the earlier video if D1 D2 is short circuited then the voltage available will become 0 0 equal to IA RA plus LA DIA by DT plus E so E is nothing but a function of IA omega M now we will see the waveform so whenever, whenever T1 D1 is turned on then the input supply will be available across that armature now whenever the freewheeling is taking place that D1 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 D2 turned on there will be no voltage but the, by the time that the armature current will start decreasing armature current will start decreasing right so during this time T1 D1 armature current will increase then armature current will start decreasing so almost the E see the E in the previous case separate like set DC motor E will be a straight line E will be straight line but here the E will be varying with respect to that IA and the speed so closely the E will follow 
he will follow the phase of IA, not the magnitude of IA, phase of IA it will follow. Got it. So, this is the merged waveform. So, this is positive half cycle, this is inverter negative half cycle, that is positive half cycle. Then E and IA. This is for rectifier control. If your, uh, if your supply is AC, then you have to use the half, -air rectifier, half, half controlled rectifier to get the controlled DC voltage. By controlling the DC voltage, you can control the speed of DC motor. So that we discussed already in the previous session videos. Check the previous session videos. So this is by using rectifier, half controlled rectifier. Then what is the formula? E is directly proportional to Ka omega m. That Ka is nothing but a constant. That is one constant. That constant is nothing but a function of Ia. So Ia equal to Ia omega m. Or Ia directly proportional to Ia omega m. Ia is that back m of. Now general formula. What is the Va? Va is nothing but Ia plus Ia Ia. Ea plus Ira. So, what is the Ea value? Ea is nothing but Ka omega m. That you substitute and bring it omega m. So, what is omega m? Va minus Ira divided by Ka. Nothing else. Ea value you have to substitute. That is Ka omega m. Then find omega m. So, that will become Va minus Ira divided by Ka. What is T? Talk developed in the armature. T, T, T is nothing but Ka into Ia. But don't forget that a Ka is function of Ia. Ka is function of Ia. So now if you put a, it will become T is directly proportional to Ia square. So that is why series motor will produce higher amount of starting torque. So these are that equation associated with the uh, uh, that is uh, half, wave con uh, half controlled rectifier fed DC series motor. Now the waveform actually this waveform the no, not the waveform this is the plot that is given in the gk dubey that is fundamentals of electrical drives by gk dubey next chopper control by using chopper whatever we discussed earlier is half controlled rectifier now chopper control this also more or less similar same is the case but here the e will be variable that is the difference e will be variable so the chopper the operation everything remains same no other change only only point is that e will be variable if you want you can put a field winding over here field winding over here that's it that is the difference between the uh, separate legs and dc motor that is chopper control of separate legs and dc motor and a chopper control of series motor so if you want you put a one series winding over here operation waveform everything remains same so kindly check the my old videos, previous session videos. This is regenerative braking. This also remains same. Only thing is if you want, you can put a field winding over here with only two turns or one turn you can put field winding. So operation everything remains same. So here in more train, whenever the switch is turned on, then the current will flow from TR, then armature A1, A2, then V minus. Whenever the switch is turned off, then free wheeling action will take place through DF. So in this case it will become A2 DF A1. So this is for motoring. So if the transistor is turned on, then the current will start increase. When freewheeling action is taking place, whenever the transistor is turned off, freewheeling action will take place by the time that IA value will decrease. So whenever the transistor is turned on, then the V will be applied across the motor. So whenever the freewheeling action is takes place, it is short circuit, so the voltage will become zero. So the operation everything remains same. So kindly check the old videos. This is regenerative braking. So the circuit also remains same. Only thing is field winding. Then the E value. E value will be here. Not a constant variable. That is the difference. Same is the case. If transistor is turned on. Then the current will flow from A1, TR, A2. Like that. So when now the transistor is turned off. Then the current will start flow from A1, D supply. That is V plus V minus. Then A2 like that so during this time that energy will be dissipated so the current will start decreasing when now the transistor is off when now the transistor is on the current will start increase and this is the plot that is chopper control plot this is for motoring and this is for braking this is chopper controlled dc 
series motor okay so y axis is omega m x axis is torque so whenever we keep on increase the del value what will happen va value will increase so omega m value will increase so see here so if we increase the uh, del value then va will increase so that your omega m omega m will also increase similar is the case with uh, regenerative braking also so this is the plot given in the gk dubey fundamental cyclical exercise by gk dubey i hope you got about the chopper control of dc series motor that is for both uh, chopper control as well as rectifier control if you have any doubt mail to me